executives and billionaires who say, you know, ESG doesn't work. I mean, does this bolster that argument or does it just show how it, it conflicts, I guess? I think it bolsters. I, like I said, I think this is the beginning of ESG investing because you had a board that basically, I had, it, to give them the benefit of the doubt, there was something they were worried about. They were worried that the combination of trying to err on the side, they, they tried to err on the side of risk to humanity, it appears, and got very concerned. And the management team, and it appears 90 plus percent of the employee base was erring on the side of being more commercially aggressive. And the reality is capitalism and the pursuit of shareholder value trounced the concerns that the board has. I've never seen a switch like this. This was a board that got caught so flat, flat footed. And the, talk about the mother of all not reading the room. But you could make this same argument, correctly or incorrectly, good for humanity, bad for humanity, for all of ESG investing that has dramatically underperformed hedge funds and investors that are more focused on just finding alpha and getting profits. I think this represents a much bigger issue. That is, people who claim to be concerned more broadly about humanity and companies that are unfettered by this concern and just go after profits. And there's no evidence that these two can peacefully coexist in our current yeah. capitalist model. Wow. And you can't run a company without those employees. Scott Galloway, really interesting conversation. Thank you for your time tonight.